This is Jimmy at Cherry Lake and today we want to demonstrate cutting back using the electric shears on the tropical sage. I know in another video we talked about hand pruning that, but on large commercial properties that's just not going to be something that's viable. We want to make sure that we can get a lot done in a short amount of time. So we've been experimenting. we got a few clips we'll show you with cutting at different heights. So that way we can see if we can just knock the bloom off or all the way down to a, a total cut back six to eight inches from the ground. So here we're going to demonstrate that just using the steel electric shears. Pretty simple. It's going to come in here and just move real slow. It does a great job. So one thing we found is, is that trying not to damage the, the original parent plant, we're just going to slowly rake this out. A little bit of a technique to it, and that's just to grab and lift up. We don't want to disturb our pine straw, and we don't want to rake that pine straw and disturb any seeds that are already seedlings that may be coming up. We'll make another quick pass, catch anything that might be a little too tall. It's not going to be a problem. We'll show you something that we pruned yesterday that we just left out in one day in a, on a May afternoon and the leaves and all dried. So don't really feel like it's that important unless this is something that you're doing right up by a clubhouse or your you know front door. But a little bit of material left in there is not a big deal because it dries up and blends right in with the pine straw within 24 hours typically, unless it's winter time. And of course, while we're doing this, we will be loosening up some seeds and dropping them off and they'll be falling in there and that's fine. We want it to self sow as much as possible. That way we don't have to replant. If it gets snagged on something, you don't want to yank too hard. You don't want to break the parent plant like I just did there. You can see it may happen. Still plenty left in there, but you just want to be cautious of it. You may need to use a pair of hand clippers to get some of it so you don't have to snick, stick your trimmers down in the soil. All right, so touch this Here's a two week follow up video, just making a quick clip and letting you see how the tropical sage after being hedged came back in this area. And I'm gonna show you one other area that we recently did. It's already starting to get blooms and filled out nice already. And just this whole area really looks nice. And there you go. 
hedge trimming, tropical sage.